Every Sunday's getting more bleak A fresh poison each week We were born sick, you heard them say it My church offers no absolute She tells me worship in the bedroom The only heaven I'll be sent to Is when I'm alone with you I was born sick, but I love it Command me to be well I mean, it was the first, first time I'd ever done a fashion show, so usually I'm used to playing gigs behind a guitar to a small audience. So um, it, was, it was, you know, a, a little bit outside my comfort zone in that, in that regard. So it was fun, interesting, yeah, really enjoyed it. Take me to church, I worship like a dog at the shrine of your life. I'll tell you my sins and you can sharpen your knife. Offer me that deathless death, the good God, let me give you my life. Attitudes like that, attitudes homophobic attitudes or the scapegoating of a minority um, that's that's a culture that can that can cross borders and I think it's important to be aware of it and it's important to keep it in check um, but it, but in that one I think it was it was something that was you know it was very much worth speaking out against I mean I'm, I'm not gay I don't have any close friends or family that are but I think it's you know it reflects on on all of us. Next year we have a referendum for, for gay rights, uh, sorry, for marriage equality, I should say. Um, up until now, um, the gay community can in, get involved in civil partnership, but it's not the same, it's not, it's not the same, it's not equal marriage. Take me to church, like a dog and the smile of your life. I'll tell you my sins so you can sharpen your knife. Offer me my deathless death. got a present for you over there you probably know this yes book. absolutely yeah uh, I saw this book about uh, this main character Stephen who questions and rebels against uh, uh, the Catholic and Irish conventions uh, which is, well your work uh, is about that as well so so how did this book shape you as an artist and as a human being um I mean I wouldn't uh I wouldn't claim that, you know, myself and, and Stephen have, uh, have all that much in common. But certainly the, the, the themes in the, in, the, in the book, like, um, there, is, there is a lot of, of, the, of the kind of the, that struggle reconciling your own personal need to be yourself against the expectations of, of nationhood, the expectations of nationalism and, and, and religion. Ideological hypocrisy is still ideological hypocrisy a hundred years on, you know, so this, this might have been written a hundred years ago, but if that ideology remains the same, even if PR changes around it, public relations might change around it, but if ideological hypocrisy remains the same in, in that regard, yeah. And certainly, uh, lyrically, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot, there's a few references even to it towards the end of the book, say an angel of small death and the codeine scene. Angel of small death and the codeine scene with her slow blonde hair, her arms hard and lean, she's the angel of small death and the golden the, the album deals with, with kind of, uh, you know, with sexuality and, and, um, and I suppose, yeah, kind of, kind of coming to terms with yourself and those aspects of it. And, um, I don't know, much of that might be influenced from a rock and roll culture and some of it is influenced just from being a young man and, and discovering those things for the first time, you know. It's an incredibly natural part of the, the human experience. The three most, I, I, I think, three, three of the most natural things a person does as a human being. You're born, you make babies, or you have sex and you love somebody, and you die. And dying is one of the most natural things. It's, it's the last act of being a human being. I always love hearing choir sing and I love the sound of voices in harmony. That's why I was drawn to a lot of the music I was drawn to growing up, drawn to gospel music and all kind of congregational singing. Take me to 